Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Jason Wildfire. Today, I'm with Brandon. We're going to go over him. He's going to be on our tech talk today. So, Brandon, uh, why do you play Monster Hunter? Why do you like this game? Well, I like Monster Hunter because it's something out of the ordinary from Capcom. Like, when it comes to Capcom, they make great games and get out great experiences. I'm just happy that they learned from their bullcrap from years ago and set the game up and bring a Monster Hunter ex bring the Monster Hunter experience to console. Okay. So, Brandon, uh, I see you're running with a girl character. Very awesome. Um, tell us about uh, your weapons and what you use normally. Normally, I will use the longsword, but not the longsword. I use a different myriad of weapons, spitting the situation. And so on. If I need to guard, I'll use a charge blade, a gun lance, or, or I'll pretty much get from there. Okay. So, um, you're not breaking up yet, but if you do break up, we'll just cut and then we'll reattach. But can you show us some of your uh, weapons? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, since the Golden Girl event quest has been out, I've been doing a lot of farming for her weapons. I managed to get get some of them and some of them I just pick up over time in easy weeks and months. Okay, so and what sometimes you, I just get the I'll continue. Oh. What um what do you use the bow for normally? What monster? Oh, I use the bow why if I need to go to um far range. Like long range sniping for sleeping, bombing for sleep bombing and poisoning them. So not poison. Okay, to mess around. So no specific monster, just you have a bow. Yeah, basically. Okay. What about your? I'm own? more of a. Uh, oh. Um, you, go ahead. Yeah, I'm more of a. Oh, I'm more of a. Uh, I'm more of a jack of all trades or a renaissance man. I use any type of weapon that seems fit to me, depending on the situation and so on. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. So can you show some of your other weapons then? Oh sure. Um, the charge blade. This is pretty awesome. Okay. Hmm. So is your favorite the longsword? Oh yes, yes it is. Okay. Been from um, try all the way to current point. When did you start playing Monster Hunter? Which uh, entry did you come in from? I came in for through the third generation, Monster Hunter 3, Monster Hunter 3 Try. During that time, there was the, during the time, during my years at middle or high, it was during high school, I always wanted to play a Monster Hunter game, even to the point of trading in my own DS to get a PSP from someone from middle school. I mean, when I saw Free Unite and I saw the monsters and all that, that what got me hooked. And then when I found out that Monster Hunter Try was coming to the Wii, all I can tell you is I was excited. I brought two pro controllers. I pre-ordered the game. And beyond though, Monster Hunter Tribe was the game that killed my summer, basically. That was most <laughs> of my time on Try. <laughs> that was most of my time on Try. And when, when Portable 3 came out, I was excited. Same thing, game that killed my summer yet again. And when I heard Portable 3 was, was coming to Vita, I mean, this was a long time ago. They pretty much shut it down, but I still wanted to play it. So years, like years later, I had my PSP and I played Portable 3. And all I can tell you was good game in which it came to the States, even though I do have Portable 3 on my PS3 right now, but it's just a, um, it's Japan, it's all Japanese and so on. Okay. But if anyone has a PSP, yeah, if anyone has a PSP or a PSP emulator, you can get the game. But I recommend supporting the official release. We support it i'm not talking about your heart in it but support it and there's a um there's an english patch that's out from team merrick zero they pretty much just give us a full english translation went up to um operation cherry blossom and yeah okay uh so can you show us some of your armor your different sets Love in you. and uh we need to just see like the different stats and uh but not. By the way, you know you can do what you want, but you can rename your loadouts to make it easier. Although you probably have to memorize. That is, yeah. Well, most of the armors that I make are basically armor that I pretty much see. If it looks cool, if it has great stats, I will pretty much build from it. 
and create and pretty much use it during my uh like if i'm going against something that's fire resistant or no if i'm going against fire and if it's fire resist and it's use fire and it's fire resistant i will go anything but a high fire count if not i'll just just wing it like at this moment in time to this recording i'm rocking the guild cross card particularly all resistant towards everything but if you even look down at the defense it's low so i uh you know like modify it to get it better defense, but, you, okay. but that's gonna be a lot of time to do what ability systems have your guild cross oh my guild cross i switched to dante when i i apologize Play the Dante DLC now. I'm promoting. <laughs> I'm selling out. <laughs> I was actually randomly thinking um, about getting uh, the HD collection. Oh, yeah. The HD collection, magnificent, man. It's real good. Yep. 25 bucks. Yeah. So, yeah, it's the abilities. Oh, the abilities of the Guild Cross are um, when you first get it, it's 2%. It's too, like, level 2 for all resistance. But instead of me leaving it on level leave it on too. I decided to put like a resistance shield for each of them. So the okay. hmm. So when it comes down to the legs, I pretty much put a fire gem on there. When it comes down to the arms, I put I me mean, yeah the arms I put a water resistant gem and so on and so forth. To make it more resistant. Think of it as like how Iron Man got his like superior Iron Man suit. This is basically my superior Iron Man suit. I see. Um. So, what about the items you? Uh, unless was there another um, armor set you want to uh, show off? Oh yeah, uh, I might as well show off the current one. Okay, hold on. It's. Hold up. Did I save it? Yeah. I don't see some high swap with the Golden Girl armor. The I can't pronounce his name. I might butcher it. So I'll just leave it as Golden Girl. People know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Overall, it's a stylish looking armor and so on and so forth. It pretty much comes with Handicraft, Element Free, Divine Blessings, Stun Resistant, Critical Boost, Power Prolonger, Irritator, Agitator, Peak Performance, and Wide Range, which I gotta say is very versatile. Fire resistance is pretty much up to God tier standards. You can withstand, you won't get burned from it. And the thunder is basic, basically different. But the downside is, if I go against a water, ice, or dragon, I'm pretty much SOL, depending if it's tempered or not. Okay. Um, so when you go into battle, uh, what items do you bring with you? What items? Um, like, what's your typical mostly... setup when you go in? My typical setup is basically standard crap, really. Um, I bring traps, shot traps. I bring in like max potions, and when I faint, I pretty much use an ancient potion to recover most of my stamina and all that. And I go in. Well, if we're down to three, like three faints, I mean two faints, I would use a. Um, I'll pretty much break all standards and basically use these. These like right away if I'm getting ready to die or something as a flat resort. Okay. And I bring bombs just in case of sleep bombing as well. You, you don't want to be like Tony and like not bring any of that, so. Nah. Okay. Um. So can you go out on a hunt and it doesn't a really just a easy hunt so we can just see what you can do and what you do. Sure. You got my baby right here. Get my golden blade. If you ask me, I think gold is an ugly looking color. I prefer silver or platinum. <laughs> You're that guy make a subspecies. I want to fight platinum girl or silver girl. I'll be all on board for it. How's the hunting? Yeah, nothing too difficult because right. uh, I I don't want anything that's like too too long. Yeah, I'm not gonna choose anything different. I'm just gonna take a Weenie Hut Junior's monster. I'll take a super Weenie Hut Junior monster. You know what, Barry? Let's go ballsy. Let's go Kieran. Let's go Kieran. Let's not play. No, I'm not. Uh, let's go after the Great Jaguars. I mean, yeah, he's being bullied by Devil Joe, but hey, he's a soldier. You tough it out. He's tough. 
stuff out. And that's uh, okay. Uh, cause I don't want to do like uh, Eugene last time. So we, I asked him to go on a hunt and I didn't notice mm -hmm. the fact that it was a capture. So he just, uh, we kill it. And then I'm like, Oh, Oh yeah. <laughs> that might've been a catch. Oh, well, <laughs> I mean, he did very well. It's just, you know, not quite what we were looking for. No eating for you today? Hmm. Yeah, I'm just using, um, I'm trying, trying to think of something. I don't know, I might torture it. No, screw it. Where's my other weapon? <laughs> there we go. I don't think keeping up with the gold motif for this outfit. Okay. Onward! Performance. In other words, boost up my attack if I don't receive damage. Yep, I know all too well. Yep, my go-to thing when um when they had the Zen Ogre and Ultimate Three. And lo and behold, Fat Boy's right there. Try to pay him a visit. I should find my um bow gun and the Bandit Mantle so I can just get some easy cash. But whatever. And that's my cat, Jack. Five dollars for the person who gets a reference to what he's named after. Hey, buddy. I'm sorry.